gas futures fell more than 2% below the key support of $2.70 on Friday, extending this week's loss to over 7%, driven by prospects of lower demand into next week and strong production. A recent weather report indicates that the southern and western parts of the U.S. will continue to experience high temperatures, ranging from the 90s to the 100s. Meanwhile, the Midwest and Northeast are expected to have slightly cooler temperatures through Saturday, only for much of the country to heat up again early next week. This trend suggests that the country's demand for natural gas will remain high throughout the week. However, U.S. gas demand, including exports, is expected to be little changed from 103.7 billion cubic feet per day this week to 103.8 next week, below Wednesday's forecast. On the supply side, output so far in August is nearly unchanged from last month and not far from a monthly record of 102.2 billion cubic feet per day in May. Meanwhile, the EU reached its 90% gas storage target on August 16, some 11 weeks ahead of the EU-mandated November 1 deadline, data from Gas Infrastructure Europe showed August 18. Germany, Italy, Spain, and the Netherlands are among the countries that exceeded the target. France is at 84% because they had problems with energy supplies during strikes earlier this year. Filling this summer was made significantly easier by the extremely mild 2022 winter, which left EU storage sites still filled to 56% of capacity at the end of the traditional withdrawal season in March. Having full storage is no guarantee of winter supply security, however. While storage typically provides 25% 30% of gas consumed in the EU during winter, a protracted cold winter could see stocks run dangerously low, especially with much lower Russian supplies. Moreover, possible labor strikes in Australia may impact the global liquefied natural gas market and winter LNG flows. Also, Europe faces reduced Russian gas flows due to the Ukraine conflict, and recent Norwegian outages highlight the market's vulnerability to price spikes. The risk of a gas shortage during cold temperatures still exists and will probably remain with us until winter 2026-27, without further infrastructure measures. U.S. nat gas has fallen during the week, as it looks like we will continue to consolidate overall. The gas price experienced a bounce back after touching the 100-day moving average, and now the big question is whether it can successfully breach the support of the 50-day moving average. Given the circumstances, I believe it's likely just a question of time before we reverse our course, stage a rally, and surpass the $3 threshold. Once we breach this $3 mark, there's a good chance we'll see a substantial upward movement. To be precise, I anticipate that we might even come close to the $4 mark. Don't forget to smash the like button and turn on your notifications bell if you enjoyed the video. See you in the next one.